What's up guys? Welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Demon Riva and today is Valentine's Day and this is our Valentine's Day episode. So I thought instead of doing some chintzy little cocktail that I created with strawberries or something and making it pink or red, I would just do a straight up awesome classic sidecar variation called the Between the Sheets. Then whether or not you have a girlfriend or boyfriend, you will be getting Between the Sheets regardless. I want to do that for you. So this drink was popularized at Detroit Wonder Bar in Detroit, Michigan, and it was apparently first published in Ted Saucier A or Ted Saucier's book Bottoms Up in 1951. Um, but it has been positive, sorry, it has been posited, and it is possible that this drink was created at Harry's American Bar by Harry McElhone because basically this is a sidecar variation, like I said earlier. Um, so it is possible since the sidecar was created there that this was created in the same place. That being said, we don't know that to be true. We just think that. Okay, let's get into the cocktail. First thing we're gonna do, half an ounce of lemon juice, one ounce of Cointreau, and then we're gonna do a split base of aged rum. I'm using Havana Club 7. You can use any aged rum you like. This I've got on hand and I love, so I'm gonna put it in the drink and I think it's gonna go well too. Three quarters of an ounce of aged rum and three quarters of an ounce of cognac. We're using Pierre Fred 1840 as I do on this cocktail channel a lot. And there you have it. That's it. Let's add our ice. Lock our tin, center our thing, get our strainer, rinse our strainer. All right, here we go. I'm gonna shake our cocktail. And get a good lock. That should do it. There we go. Double strain and get all that crappy shards of ice out. I don't like those shards of ice. I want them out. I like nice, clean presentation. If you want to leave those shards in, they could dilute your cocktail further, or you could just drink your cocktail really fast. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to pull a little lemon peel, zest it on the top, and place it on top for the first sip. Let's see how it goes. Cheers. You know, what's great about that is that the rum and the cognac together with the lemon almost give it like a kind of like a chocolate cake sort of vibe to it. But then you've got the nice tartness from the lemon. It's really it's pretty wonderful. I'm really digging that lemon rum. Uh, cognac um, triumvirate, if you will. And there you have it, my friends. Let's, let's do that. I like that. I like the peel in the glass. Under the sheets. 